Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad Hair Adventures. I'm going to do a uh, little bit of science today, and a little bit of uh, consumer uh, advice. So I don't think I've ever seen a video doing this, but I'm going to do a comparison test uh, in how fast certain types of stove boil water. Uh, I'm going to use the same kettle with the same amount of water in it. I've got a thermometer to A, test the ambient temperature before we start, and B, to test that it's got to boiling point. Uh, so in round one of my tests, I'm going to pit solid fuel stove against methylated spirits Trangia burner. Uh, I've got another set of tests I'm going to do later. They will be both with wood. One will be with the wood gasifier stove, and one will be in my straight bush box. Uh, and we're going to time them and uh, give you some sort of idea as to how quickly these um, stove types boil the water. Uh, I need a coffee. It's pretty early in the morning, so it's quite quiet. Um, so let's get on with it, and uh, I'll bring you in for a quick look at what the ambient temperature of the water is pre-testing. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> and you're in my test area. Right, so I've already pre-filled the kettle. Obviously for these tests, I'll use the same kettle and the same water. Uh, let's pop that in there for a second. That's Mary's sugar thermometer. I'm guessing it's gonna be roughly ambient temperature. I don't think this scale actually goes down low enough, but what I'll do is I'll make a little mental mark of where it is. So, yes, it's not even on the scale yet. So I'll make a mark. It's exactly where the word China is on the, uh, oh, where is it? It says China, like here. It's exactly level with China. So that's our starting block. So let's set up the first stove. a uh, British Army original BCB stove that I've had for so many years. So let's get this bad boy open, get some tablets out. Now I'm going to go with two tablets in this thing. Primarily because I want to make sure it boils. Those two of the old tablets. Those on there like that. So, um, to time this, I will uh, use the timer on my watch, which is here. So as soon as I light it, I will stop the timer and we will start conducting the test. That has taken. Let's get the water on. So after two tablets and 10 plus minutes, it's only got to 80 degrees. So two more tablets. So 
So we're at 11 minutes. And I've had to reignite more tablets to get this to the rolling boil that we would want. So it's now, I don't know if you can see that. That's just turned 14 minutes. Uh, it sounds like we're getting close. Mm, hold on. This kettle's pretty good. Um, I think it was like, it's, it's a super cheap Tesco's job, but it always, um, right, there we go. You can see the steam coming out of it now. That's when it, you know it's boiling. So let's just move everything out of the way for a second. So, so I can't see that. 14 minutes 32 to get to a rolling barrel. And that said 92 degrees, which is about as close as we're going to get, I suspect. So, test one complete. So, water is cooled back off. That is back at the China symbol. Time to start the second test. So this will be methylated spirits in a transier. So test two is underway. Methylated spirits on a transier. Same kettle, same amount of water. Uh, I started about a minute and a half ago. It should be should be a lot quicker if I'm honest I think the test with the BCB fire dragon is that my tablets were probably about 20 years old um, I don't know how old they are because they came with the stove that I never used when I got it given to me when I started doing this so um, I might have to redo that test at a later date for a comparison you know? but that's on and going so um, I'll leave you to the time lapse and um, we'll see how quickly it does it so I'm hoping you can hear that I think we're beginning to get close it's actually a really good little kettle because steam starts pouring right out of it once it's boiled. And uh, I mean, this is performing faster. We're at the 10 and a half minute mark and we're getting close to it by the sound of things. So as you can see, we're now getting a pretty constant stream. So let's take that off and test the temperature. Move the camera slightly. So that reading, I don't know if you can see that. It says 12 minutes and nine. So significantly quicker. Let's get this out. There we go. So 
so while we wait for the kettle and the water to cool back to the ambient temperature so I can have a nice even test I just wanted to say a thank you to all of you guys that watch my videos or our videos and that have subscribed to the channel it's really appreciated and um, yeah I, I hope you're enjoying what we do please get in the comments and let us know um, ultimately I'm gonna keep doing these things I'm gonna keep trying to keep it interesting and original and um, uh, you know, I hope you follow on and keep watching. So we have my two wood stoves. This is a Bushcraft Essentials Bushbox XL. And this is a Lixada wood gasifier stove. Let's just get them out and have a quick look at them. So that is my bush box set up. I'll use the cross rails when I come to put the kettle on. It's not very good lighting, is it? This way. Okay. And then this is my Luxada stove, which I've got to remember how to put together. I believe. There you go, this base. And that pops in there. on the top like that. So let's get some wood together. Um, I'm going to try and keep what I put in both of them as even as possible so it'll be one fire lighter, this much wood, this much tinder etc. So as you can see, I've moved my test area <coughs> because uh, I didn't want wood smoke blowing in the kitchen door, which is where I was sat earlier. Um, this test is going to be a dip, bit, little bit different in the fact that um, they're different sizes and they're different types of wood burners. I've tried to give an even amount of fuel either side. Obviously with the Lixada it being shorter and there being no feeder window, like in the bush box, I've got to make the wood smaller. So it kind of looks like there's more wood this side, but uh, it's not, it's, it's roughly even I suspect. So uh, I think ultimately we will start with the, the Lixada gas fire stove. I'm going to use a fire starter and some bulrush in with some of the twigs and broken bits to get it going. I will do the same with the bush box and then we'll get into it. I think with this one I will time it from the point of putting the kettle on rather than the point of ignition. Or well, maybe, yeah, I suppose point of ignition keeps the test similar to everything okay i'll do it from point of ignition so as soon as i light it get it in going i will start the timer so let's prepare the stove so i'm going to stand this upright and block it off with the wood so i can get into lighting it there we go ok 
Okay, got my kettle. So I'm just going to use a pinch about the size of a big marble. I'm just going to put that in alongside it. Okay, let's move back to the test area. There is the lighter. So let's get my timer up. Timer's up and ready. Okay, start the timer. I need to get it going before I can put the kettle on. Right, that seems to be working quite well. Let's put the, uh... So that's taken about 50 seconds to get to the point where, I don't know if you can see, the, uh... the flames are beginning to dance out the top. So, let's get the kettle on, get the time lapse going. Still plenty of wood in there, thankfully. It's been going six minutes now. So I think we're coming up to rolling boil. It would definitely, yep, seems so. So let's, that's 14 minutes 43. That took longer than I expected. Let's just check with the thermometer. Ow, there's a fire there, James. Yep, that's the same temperature, 95. So as I say, 14 minutes 44 for the wood gasifier stove. Admittedly, it used a lot less fuel than I was anticipating. So, we'll wait for the water to cool down and we'll get on to the bush box. We'll set up exactly as we did before with one of these in the middle. Get my feet. Get my feet. And then trap it in place with bits. Now this is larger. There's a lot more ventilation. It doesn't work like a wood gasifier stove. With a wood gasifier stove, you can see these holes around the inside. They effectively force feed the gases from burning the wood back into itself, which is why I use barely any wood at all. I was really surprised with that. But then I'm also surprised with how long it took. 
it being directly on the flame, but it shows you the vagaries of wood burning. The temperatures vary so much. Right, let's get this built. Smaller bits would be better, but... Standing up nicely now. So, I'm going to try and put in the same rough amount that I had in before, although the pieces I'm putting in here are larger, so I will put less in as a result. I think, like I say, this is a relatively big, thick bit, so that's about the same amount I got the other one started with. Find the ignition and commence test two. Right. We are lit and going. Let's get these on. The kill to sit on. You do have to be careful with these because they will get super hot. This is good. Let's get that on. Let's move you up and out. Well, this test. Start the timer. Don't know if you can see that. Right, let's get into time lapse mode. So I think we're getting very close to rolling boil. Yep, it's uh, boiling out the top. Still boiling. Double check that, stop the clock. Wow. Perfect. So not only was Bushbox XL, the quickest to boil the kettle at at 12 minutes and 17 seconds. It also boiled the kettle to the highest temperature. This got to 98 degrees. Sorry about any wind noise. So now the tests are over and the results are in and it stands as such slowest to boil the kettle was the Lixada wood gas fire stove. Very surprising. Uh, it didn't use a lot of wood and it does pack down relatively well. Um, I think I got mine on Wish for about 12 quid. I don't use it very often, I must admit. <laughs> uh, mainly because of that, having to take whatever off of it to then feed the fire inside. So then it, I mean, I would give it a six out of 10 as stoves go. So the next on the block, and then in third place was the BCB Fire Dragon at 14 minutes and 32. So now that might be because of my old tablets. I didn't use a windshield for anything, um, mainly because I figured that was another piece of kit. But I am, and ultimately that time of 14.32 was with me having to take the kettle off, put new tablets in, light them again, and then get the kettle on again. So that's, um, 
that's something to bear in mind. It is the smallest of the stoves. It's probably one of the lightest of the stoves. Um, so all in all, it's a pretty good performance, seven out of 10. So the, um, in second place, the Bushbox XL with a 12 minute and 17 boil time. Old Faithful, I used it so much. Um, it's, it's really good. So 12 minutes 17, that's a pretty good boil time. Again, I'm not using any windshielding. Uh, it's got the most vent holes in it. It packs the flattest, but it's probably the heaviest. So, um, I mean, I love it. I love its versatility as well. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And our winner of the test, which is thoroughly dumbfounded, I thought one of the wood stoves would have cooked it quick, would have boiled the water quicker. Is the um, is the Trangia with the methylated spirits at twelve minutes and nine? I'm guessing because it has its own windshield built into it, that's probably what's helped it. Uh, it's nine out of ten. It's so versatile. Uh, you obviously, you get all the pans and stuff and the pot grabber and that. It's um, yeah, it's it's a nine out of ten stove, you know. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't test uh, gas. Mainly because I knew it's the quickest, I know it's the quickest to boil water. But also that I didn't have anything to compare it against. I don't have two different types of gas stove. So um, it didn't seem like it was a fair, fair test, if you will. So in conclusion, I mean, the two stoves I do use are the Bushbox and the Trangia. They are the two quickest. They're probably two of the heaviest. Um, it's my personal choice when I use these things. I think, I mean, I hope this has helped people try and, trying to decide what sort of stove they might like to take. Obviously get a gas stove, but only use it for boiling water. If you want to cook actual food with a gas stove, you've got to be so on the money with the stirring because it just burns everything to the bottom of your pot. My, my suggestion would be get a Trangia. If, you're, if it's just you on your own, get the small Trangia and save yourself some money. They're just brilliant. You know, get yourself a little kettle with it. You can do everything with it, multiple pot cooking, etc. So yeah, my recommendation is the mess Trangia burner. I hope this has been helpful. And um, I understand it's not exact science and there's lots of variables and I move my test zone. So that's kind of makes it a bit null and void. But I just thought it might be interesting to know how quickly each stove boiled water. Now that I said that out loud, that's kind of sad. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Click the little bell icon next to subscribe so you know when we're doing our videos. Uh, I appreciate everyone that's been watching what we've been doing. I mean, like everyone else, I can't wait to get back outdoors and do some camping, but I wanna do it when it's safe. I don't wanna just, as soon as they say, when they, I mean the government, say you're free to do something. Mm, I think maybe we should take lessons from what's happening elsewhere in the world where they've done that and they're now having a second wave. So it's something to bear in mind. I mean, stay safe, stay clean, do the best you can. Try to stave off boredom in every way possible, like watching our videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.